Okay, this is the third example on finding the general solution of first order differential equations. The first thing we need to do is we need to make sure is it dy by dx? Yes, it is. So we now need to identify what is p of x and what is q of x. So p of x is a function that multiplies y. So p of x is going to be 1 over x and q of x is going to be e to the power x. Okay, so we want to find our integrating factor. Integrating factor is mu of x, and that's e to the power of the integral of p to the x. So I'd like to do that at this side here. So that's going to become the integral of 1 over x with respect to x, which is log of the absolute value of x. Okay, so my integrating factor is e to the log the absolute value of x. Exponential function of the log will simplify, which will give us x as our integrating factor. Our next stage is we're going to multiply throughout, multiply throughout by our integrating factor. And it will always be of this form. It will become the integrating factor times y is equal to the integral of the integrating factor times q of x, which is e to the x, with respect to x. Okay, so this is now a little bit different because when we do these sort of problems, it's not always just going to be some straightforward integration like you could do from higher. Sometimes you need to use some other skills here. Um, so we want to integrate x e to the power x dx. Uh, what I'm going to do is I am going to do this at this side here. So we're going to integrate x e to the x dx. We've got a few options as to how you want to do this. Um, but here I notice that we've got a product of terms. We've got x, and that's multiplying e to the x. So I'm going to do integration by parts here. Okay, where u is equal to x, u dash is 1, v dash is e to the x, v is e to the x. Okay, when we integrate by parts, um, our general formula is uv minus the integral of u dash v. It's this times this minus the integral of this times this. Okay, so that's going to become x e to the x minus the integral of 1 times e to the x. Okay, which when we work through is going to become x e to the x minus e to the x. Um, and we'll put a plus c here. Oops. Plus c. I'm just going to take out a wee common factor here of e to the x as well. x minus 1 plus c. Okay, so we're then going to say, okay, x, y is equal to e to the x, x minus 1 plus c. And then we want to make y the subject, so it's going to become y equals e to the x over x, x minus 1 plus c over x. Okay, so all that we were more involved this time is that we just had to do a wee bit more work when we were integrating. Thank you very much.